Good morning. This is Mike down at buyavet.net in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're looking at a Code Correct 1966 Milano Maroon exterior with a Code Correct black vinyl interior that we've upgraded to leather. This is a numbers matching car, 300 horsepower, 327 cubic inch engine with a four speed automatic transmission. I'm going to take you around the paint to take a look at it. This car is absolutely stunning. It's loaded with tons of factory options. It's in pristine condition. Um, it's ready to show. It shows recent paint and excellent condition with very few flaws and a brilliant shine. So I'm going to take you around to give you a good look at it. I love this maroon color, um, particularly on a mid-year like this. You can see it has side pipes. Um, as far as the wheels go, it has a set of Repro knockoff style wheels. They're in excellent condition. And it has Firestone Supreme SI Redline tires, which I think really make this car look nice. Um, they have 10 30 seconds of the tread remaining on them. These are factory style side pipes here. Um, they've been installed on the car. Um, they give it that really nice low exhaust rumble. I'm gonna show you the, the chrome on the front and then the back of the car. They're newer reproductions. Um, they're in very good condition. See, they still have a nice shine to them. Badges look nice. There's no fading on them. All the glass on this car, with the exception of the windshield, shows a code correct date. The weather stripping is new <clears throat> and still very soft and what you would expect out of new weather stripping. It looks to me that the uh, exterior door handles are in very good condition. I don't see any pitting um, and they function perfectly. The taillights are in fair condition for being original lights. Chrome back here looks nice. Still has nice shine to it. I think the paint looks really nice on the car. Um, the gas cap you can see is still in very nice shape. There's no fading on the emblem. Let me show you the interior. The interior of this car is stunning. Um, it has new door panels. See, they look just flawless to me. Um, New leather seat covers. It still smells new, even. Um, new carpet. New gauges. You can see how clear they are. No clouding whatsoever. No fading on the needles. The center console, the dash pad, and the steering wheel are all in very good condition. This has the correct GM seat belts. A cassette deck has been put in here in place of the original AM FM radio, and it features a Corvette nameplate on there. 
There's a pair of JL 6x9 speakers <clears throat> with a 10 inch subwoofer. So you get this nice classic car, but you get a nice modern stereo system. They're a professionally built custom enclosure back there too, which is the right way to do it if you are going to do something like that. Um, let's go ahead and look underneath the hood. Alright, this is the original engine. Has a casting date of March 3rd, 1966. It was assembled on March 18th, 1966. It's a nicely detailed compartment. It has uh, ignition shielding for the distributor, 350 horsepower factory style aluminum valve covers, and the intake manifold. It also has the correct original exhaust manifolds. It has a new, a newer Holly carburetor. You can see this is very nicely taken care of. Um, it's clean. The frame on this car is wonderful. It's rust free, solid, super clean. Um, this is what I would consider to be a very top quality mid year. It has working factory air conditioning, tons of other options. Um, this is one of only 3,500 cars with factory air conditioning. Um, power steering, power brakes, power windows, power antenna. Um, and then you have the added features as well with the side exhaust, the knockoff style wheels. The four-speed automatic transmission. So if I gave you a look at that, so I'll go back in here. You can see that that is added to make it drive more like a modern car. Um, I hope you'll consider this car. It's a real beauty, and uh, I hope you consider all of our cars at buyavet.net. Appreciate your time today. Thank you.